Meow. 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 Okay, I'm starting off at regular speed here. And I'm, this is the width of the head here. And now I'm going down to the where the snout goes down. Just to kind of get my direction and my shapes going accurately at first. And we'll move on to the body. Now we're double speed. I'm just going to get those little feetsies in. I'm just blocking out the general shape of Kitty. The silhouette, I guess. Well, more than the silhouette. I'm doing that ear. I'm just feeling it out. Make sure I get the perspective right. There's a snout. Just really feeling my way through it. And a lot of times when you see me going back and forth over lines, it's just that I'm it's just part of my pondering process if I've got things right and stuff. It's the sketching stage. It's how I work and it's up to each individual artist to figure out the best way they work. Don't ever attempt to be a carbon copy of me. Just, you know, take what you learn from me and make it your own. Do what works for you. If you really are crazy about drawing cats, then be sure to join our Cat Drawing Art Workshop on Facebook. You'll find the link for that group in the in the video description below and we'd be happy if you'd join us. There's also some other handy cat drawing links there too. Go cautiously on that the far the left side of the face or the right side of the face <laughs> the other left I'm always mixing up left and right. I'm getting some lines in there for the eyes. So this eye, the, the far eye, the one that's farther away, we want to be a little more subtle with it. Otherwise it kind of pops out and doesn't look any farther away than the other. It's got to be smaller and just kind of just not as defined. Any lines you can use to help you place things and you know, really, if you can't erase them out after, it's just a sketch and they also kind of, you can tone them down with the eraser and they make good background tone and add, add movement and fluidity to the drawing, movement and tone. Just kind of strengthening up the lines I do like here now. and helping the important lines stand out. I really think about each line that I include because I, you know, I want, I don't want distracting details. I want to get my point across in as few lines as possible. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Subscriptions make this channel purr. So hit subscribe, hit that little bell. And so you don't miss a video. We'd be happy to have you help build our crazy cat artist community. I do recommend that you watch once with me talking you through it, but also watch with the sound turned off too. And, you know, sometimes just being able to focus on the drawing and not listening to me talk, you'll learn different things. Do what works for you. So now I'm speeding it up to four times the speed. And here we go. We'll finish this drawing up. Zip in a bit of, of a floor there for Kitty. It's 
So thank you so much for watching. Got lots more videos to come. Drop me a comment and let me know what you want to learn about cat drawing. Kind of felt like it was too strong a lines inside Kitty, so I toned them down with my eraser. See you next time.